Here we go. Okay, so here's the main tube in Lava Brook Cave. Wow. Wow. Okay. There's the way I just crawled through. Make sure I pan down so you can see it. Yeah, that's the way I just crawled up. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> no, I don't know what I was thinking. Good question. All right, here we go. There's a way down there. There's a way over here. What's funny, I was just over there. You'd think they'd be connected. But, nope. Well, anyway, let's see what happens, shall we? Another dead end. I'll be darned. Let me see if it's worth going any farther. No. All right. Yeah, I'm not going to bother to go back there. You get the idea. The point is, it's a dead end. All right, so there's the way back up and out. That's the only way out of here. Although it goes to both the Lava Brook entrance and the Labyrinth entrance. There's the shortcut over to Labyrinth Cave. That's the way the ceiling's peeled. Wow, look at that. Oh man, my flashlight. Hang on, my flashlight's on strike. All right, there we go. Notice how dry it is in here. Okay, check it out. I'm at a three-way intersection. I could go straight or left. Oops, did I mean four-way? Or I could go up there, but that's obviously a dead end. Wow. Anyways, I was saying, okay, we'll call it a three-way. So I can go left or I can go right. It's not a dead end, it loops around. In fact, if I remember right, it loops around twice, makes a figure eight. So check this out. Notice this horizontal formation here. I think there's a name for that. I don't think it's Cleopatra's grave. I think that's a different cave. But anyway, some kind of formation. It's got a name. There's a way back there. That's not a dead end. It loops around to here. So it's actually a big figure eight back here. So it's kind of a cool little mini maze. So I was saying in my previous video, if you have kids who want to explore caves, this would be a great place to do it. So check it out, I can go up here. There's a way down here. It's a bit steep. Of course, I could always go back down here, but you know, where's the fun of that? Notice how the ceiling is peeled a little bit, but it didn't fall down. Oh man. Wow, this cave is fun. A little bit of work, but that's what makes it fun. People sprint through easy caves and they don't appreciate it. I like to earn my fun. Notice how the floor is smooth here and then rough ahead. Uh, it's a dead end over there. Okay, let me uh, fix my knee pad. Hang on. I want to turn around and show you where I am. So that's the way I just came through. This is a pillar right here. So go around here. There's that other way I showed you. See, there's the main tube over here. Pretty cool, huh? Shortcut. Okay. So let me see if I can uh, turn around and go back this way. Head first. Okay, so now I'm back to the main tube. To the right is the way out. But, you know, I just got here. Let me 
me see if it's like my flashlight's getting a little bit dim. Might have to change it soon. As I'm standing up here, a nice easy trail. A lot of these caves, they're easy if you stick to the main trail. But if you do what I'm doing, you try to do all the little side passages, cross passages, that's where it gets ugly. But I need the exercise. And I got nothing better to do. Actually, it does a nice warm sunny day outside. There is actually other stuff I could be doing. And check it out. So this, basically there's two kinds of dead ends in a cave. Well, three. There's, you can end up in an entrance. You can end up like this where it gets really, really, really small and there's no way you're going to fit through there. Or it literally is. You can't go any farther. But know your limits. Oh yeah, I was going to point this out. I probably shouldn't, but whatever. They got a sensor hidden back here. I don't know if you can see it in the video very well. I didn't. I forgot to ask them what kind of sensor it is, but they probably don't know. There's multiple rangers here. There's like the ones who work at the front desk who are basically cashiers. And then they're the ones who are law enforcement rangers who will arrest you if you suck. And then of course they have scientists working back there. Notice the little flat part to the side here. Interesting. Excuse me. Okay. Okay, there's the way I came down. But I told you this makes a big pillar. So if I go around to the left, there's the way out. But that I could do that anytime. Let's see what this is. So if you look at that pillar being a figure eight and stuff, this is like a eight way intersection down here. It's kind of cool, but it's a small enough cave. Look at this. I don't know how this happened, but look at this. Like the floor came up. There's a big hole in the floor because the rock got pulled up. You know, that thing weighs hundreds of pounds. I doubt it was some prankster who decided I know I'll pick up the rock. I don't know how that happened. It must have happened when it's forming. Here's something funny. So look at the floor. That dark spot, that's a wet spot. That's where moisture is dropping in from the ceiling. Everything else is dry. By the way, there is one bat in this cave. It's still ahead. I'll warn you in advance, because I'll have to lower my flashlight anyway. Oh, you see here? 